Board comes December 18th, 2017, Select Board's meeting in attendance. Mr. Moglen, Mr. Didi, Mr. Steinhardt, and Cindy Pendleton. For the record, it's a no-show Fox. <laughs> Mr. Fox is under the weather. Yeah. And we, we wish him a speedy speed recovery. recovery in time Absolutely. For Can I have his gift? Half. Or did you yeah, we, are, we already split it up. Oh, we get about? him one. Oh, oh good. We already <laughs> split it up. Okay. So the first thing is uh, we'll take any public comments. If anyone has any public comments for the Board of Selectmen or the Select Board or any of us characters, let us know. Seeing none, we'll move right into payroll, payables, and warrants, and we're going to acknowledge payables warrant. 1815B dated December 18th in the amount of $296,675. I'm thinking that's 43, 43 cents. Yep. And the, we'll move to the minutes of December 11th. And we need that as amended, please. I did have a note. I'll make a motion for those minutes for December 11th as Mr. Mogan amended it. I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Cindy, remind me, I gotta give you that. Okay. It's it's tiny. Action items. Eversource notification of plan maintenance in town of Southwick right away easement trimming. Yep, we sent copies. Duly noted. It, sent copies of it to the relevant departments. Two A. CDBG contract amendment with our community food pantry. Uh, by mutual agreement, as evidenced by the attached signatures, our agreement from September is amended. September 2016 is amended. Effective December 1st, to reflect the following changes in time of performance, contract will be extended till June 30th, 18. Right, uh, and this is with the food pantry part, too. Right. Right. Motion for the chair to sign. Uh, since I can't yep. refuse, second. All right. All in favor? <coughs> Aye. Aye. Uh, letter from the Chief of Police, David Riccardi. Uh, an anonymous donor by the name of Luis Alberti. $25. This is her 13th donation, lucky 13 for 2017. Uh, need a motion to accept the donation. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Oh, probably got to give that to Carl. I'll, yeah. put, I'll save this one here for you. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think he's got a sign. And then um, another letter from Chief David Riccardi. This is to recognize a donation of $100 to be utilized to support our Citizens Police Academy. And it is from Kelly Parks, Reserve Officer Kelly A. Parks. So you motion to accept that. So moved. Second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh oh, that's a lot of All right. No. That's a thank I don't you. think she gave. It. Yeah. Those are thank you letters. Okay, good. Yeah. So she didn't make two, right? Yeah, no. no. I'll make sure no. I messed this up. Yeah. Okay. One is the letter that one's a thank you. To the ah, donated. there yeah, it is. So there's two thank you letters. We signed the wrong thing. It doesn't matter. No, we signed the right Okay. Yeah. So during oh, yeah. the graduation ceremony, Reserve of Officer Parks was one of many who gave a speech about their experiences while attending the class. Kelly asked that her generous donation be used to help fund the Citizens Police Academy. Thank you, Reserve of Officer Parks. Holy cow. This is this? This is that? Okay. 4A. <coughs> Mass Works Grant Sewer Project. I don't think this yeah, is Yeah, no, that's not it. This that's is not it. No, that's the uh, Mass DOT agreement for so sure. So then we should, now we now we queue to Mr. Brown, since we're right there. Yep. Floor is yours. Well, I, I don't really have a prepared speech. I 
we got a letter from the state a couple weeks ago, I guess, about the mass works grant that we applied for. Yeah, from Jay Ash. We got the thin envelope from the state. Yes. Yeah. So now we need to make a decision how to move forward. So we have a big opening for our Kangamon Road project in about three weeks. We need to let the parties that they know whether we want to continue with sewers or not in that project. So I've had a conversation with Carl about this over the last couple of months. We knew this was coming. Yep. We've got to make a decision. Time's and the dry line is 800,000? It was 890, I think. Yeah, yeah. 900. 900. I don't have a spare 900 grand sitting around. Well, that's what it's going to come down to because I'm sure town meeting will blow us right out of the water if we decide to bring it to town meeting to ask for 900,000 for a dry line that may never, ever do anything with. Correct? No, but right, 900 grand right. gets us a line in but the we ground. Did, no. We did have a meeting with the, the but state else. senator and the lieutenant governor here last year, and they knew how important it was. And, oh, no, everyone's on board. The, uh, the Mass Works grant application did have regional support from three sitting mayors from abutting communities. But, yep. And also, it it would have been a concrete thing. It was already designed, permitted. <laughs> Correct. Unlike other Mass Works grant applications <clears throat> that are not going to materialize in other communities, this one was ready to go. What did we spend to design? What are we into it for now? 150? Uh, about 60 plus. Oh, not bad. It's one of our better shortcomings. Yeah. Only 60,000. Well, we spent more. Plus, yeah, powder mill was 250. Yeah. And, you know, oh, no, I agree. So it's a cool 100 grand. Yeah. And you're looking for us to tell you yes or no tonight as far as what you think we're going to do. We need an answer. We've been talking about this all along. I mean, yeah, yeah, no, I know. I'm with you. We're all aware. You know, this has got a really good thing here. Yeah, I mean, well, I think the finance position, the, the committee, they wanted, you know, there just wasn't the resources there. Yeah, I, you got your stabilization account, probably the only thing you could look at doing. But once again, That's I don't think you'll have the support of town meeting to do it. That's for emergencies. I, and, right. And I, and I get that. It's I do. I, I and, actually, and actually, that... You did take a withdrawal out of that years ago for the powder mill design. Oh, did we? Which didn't yep. get funded. Which didn't get funded. The construction didn't get funded, and we lost right. that grant. Yep, we did. So I think what you're hearing is that we're going to dig up Congamon Road at some future date. The great state project's going to come and redo the road, and we're going to come back and dig it up. But I'm willing to bet we won't be alive. When that happens. Speak for yourself. Oh, well, I was just saying. Two seven five out of half. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you're looking for, uh, yeah, I don't think it passed time. I, I wouldn't bring it to town meeting. I think the pitchforks and the knives last time kind of told us they're not in any mood. Even though we need sewers and, we're, and they're funding part of that sewer project, whether they realize it or not, mm. because we have the capacity and we're not using it. But the, the, no one in this town, for some reason, doesn't. They don't want to stomach it. Nope. Well, part of that was to, you know, this grant would have helped lower the. Oh, absolutely. It would have helped lower the capital costs <clears throat> to a future date where the other issues could be addressed at a lower EDU value. Right. Absolutely. And while we still are an eligible community, ten thousand or under, where we could still get a USDA loan and grant. So those opportunities are also not going to be there in the yep. future. Right. Probably I don't know. That's federal census, probably. Probably not. The ship has sailed. Right. I mean, the sewer committee has had public hearings on this. Yeah, it's not. Benefit, so. Yeah, it's not new business. It's not right. a shortcoming of the sewer committee either. I no, think not at all. No. It's just no. there's no appetite for it's it. Just, and it's and it's going to really affect, yeah. it's going to be very effectual down at Big Y when that fails finally, and it's going to be very effectual down at the crossings when that fails finally, and they run out of places to dig it up and do it again. I mean, they've done it about every year at the crossings, right? Well, Without fail. Well, yeah. It, you have a nice commercial strip basis. there that could be added to. Mm -hmm. Right. But without the, without the expansion with of sewers. Pads, with pads. Right. right you got, yeah, you got, there's plenty of pad sites there. Same thing with Pride. Yep. So every guy that tells me they want the Outback or the uh, that other famous grocery store and why not Southwick, <laughs> there's part of the reason. I don't have any better direction for you. Yeah, I'm assuming in three weeks you're going to open those bids and that project will move forward. Because because they're going to start in spring, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
I don't see us having having it in time for the spring. Is that a good enough answer? <laughs> I, I need direction, so if that's your desire, that then direction I believe that's our direction. Advance. I don't think we have the wherewithal to find it, and we've got other. There's other spending coming that is going to look at. There's other spending coming that we have to address that may address may have to be looked at from stabilization or elsewhere. Uh, on the public safety side, we don't know, and um, I just don't see it. And I don't think you can wrap this wrap another 800 grand into this project and start dividing it by the EDUs right along there, even along the crossing and Big Y. You can't until it's done. You can't anyway. Right. right. You'd have to give the service at the end. It has to be right. imminent. Right. Yeah. So, so you have to make, it, make a vote to decline yeah, pursuing it at this time. We have to make a vote. Well, to give them direction, just so. Mm -hmm. So make a motion to decline pursuing the uh, decline decline pursuing the sewer project on Congamon Road at this time. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Well done. Here's your direction, young man. Sorry. Uh, Wally Park phase two close out with park and rec. Yep, Cindy gave you a, uh, a thing, a recommendation from the. Uh... So in the end, how do we make out? Um, well, they uh, they voted to do a hold back on J and L and to uh, have the and park and rec voted to pay the uh, down under irrigation bill directly. Right. So we need you to okay that. It was an emergency issue back at that period of time. Oh, yeah, this period going to get on the forever. contractor to pay for it. So now it's all, all over about the screaming and shouting between JL and the town and our attorney? I think it just started. Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. They met yeah. last week, so. But, well, Rob is waiting for a change order on the balance of other items because there's going to be the parking lot lights that won't be installed. Right. So that was already built into the budget. And then there's going to have to be uh, funds that they want to do for liquidated damages because they were late and then some other stuff. So he's not sure what type of a change order he will get for those other things from the vendor, but this was an issue that had to be addressed. So, so that the park project at that time could have been finished and opened and irrigated because of the playing fields. Right. Because you couldn't afford to have your turf die. So this is just a motion to pay down, down under. under. Right. And how much is that, the 8912 yep. So I'll make a motion to pay down under yeah, eight thousand. There's a yep. Cindy, Cindy gave you an original. Yep. an original document there, Cindy. Yep. Eight thousand nine hundred twelve dollars and seventeen cents, which will clean no, up our. That's, our, that's <laughs> not it. All right. I'll keep reading then. We already gave it to you as yellow tabs. Oh, what is this then? That's. So that's just a draft. That's the same. This ain't it. 5A. Yeah, no, that's it. That's the that's, it. that's the draft. Right. Yeah. So I do have But we have the final letter. The final letter did come in, so. This is it. And the amount yeah. is? $8,912.17. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And that'll clean up that one bill. Pioneer Valley Planning Commission, fiscal year 18, uh, local DLTA, technical assistant. DLTA, local technical assistant yep. request. They want to know if you're interested in. Of course we are. So we did refer that to the um, the town planner. Good. To see, because it, it talks about uh, issues with housing and planning for other types of things along the lines that they would do. And then also technical assistance to advance identify community compact activities, which of course we already have a grant from that agency to fund our IT. Correct. Review. But we may, we'll see if it falls under next year's too, because we can reapply in 19 as well. Okay. But we'll wait till we hear from the planner as well. Nothing we need to do on that then, right? You don't need a vote for that. Hmm. Donation, oh boy, wait a minute. Right here. Yep. I gotta get the original. Oh. 
watercolors got me. Okay. This is from Tracy Root. Please accept the following donations from Agawam Clerical Employees Association. They chose our shelter to help with any expenses we might have. The sum of $400 donated to the shelter. So much. That is a lot of dog food. Yeah. Second, all in favor? Aye. Aye. That's all the DLTA, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now we're approving an in voice for our Nippities appeal that we're part of that group of uh, communities that are appealing the Nippities permit to see if they'll reduce it. And as you can see, Doug, that was that was Sorry. in your chair. Yes, five hundred big ones. But we're part of a multi-town effort that's underwriting the uh, that appeal process with a, with an attorney that that coalition has uh, correct appointed. So the board needs to sign off so that we can remit our share that we've entered into this uh, group. Got it. Appeal. Motion for five hundred dollars. So moved, sir. Second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Sign this one? No, you did a. Uh, what is that now? The, uh, this is the IAFF Local 4919. Right, you signed a uh, memorandum of agreement. Hmm. That is uh, that is actually takes the memorandum agreement and spreads it throughout the contract and updates the language. Got it. Because you had already appropriated the money at the annual town meeting in May, so. Labor Council, his staff have updated it, and the fire union has, has signed, signed off on all four copies. Okay, so we will sign that before we leave the scene, correct? Yep. Correct. Okay. okay. Let me just make sure I got all this. That's the one we already did. That's the one you already signed. That's the. That's not the draft. That's the original. You might want to sign that one. Thank you. You're going to get particular at this late hour? <laughs> Apparently. And this one we already signed, though. I don't know where we signed it, but we I signed it. I <laughs> So what is the Mass DOT standard form in front of us, sir? It's old business. That's new business, isn't it? Okay. That's for the short lift. Uh, All right, so let's the get agreement for the uh, small bridges program. Yeah, new business. You've already signed off Man, on imagine the if it was a big bridge. All right, so <laughs> you've already signed off for Gill Engineering to do. This actually should have come to you before the Gill Engineering thing, okay. and it's to um, actually agree, sign it with the state for that bridge program money that you have. Yeah, five hundred thousand. So we can get. You want to get that out of our new business? You want to run through the old business real quick? Okay. Yeah, whatever you want. So we already talked about the chief of police. We're going to do that at our next meeting. Covered bridge. Yep, you got your report today. Yes, we did. And the chief is in the process of uh, sending the specifications of his apparatus to the engineering firm to see whether or not any of those uh, pieces of his equipment would be problematic for the way that they wrote their report on the limits of the weights. That's so, good, because so the way I read that was not good. Uh, right, but he's trying, to, he's trying to get clarification about it. And of course, I printed out a copy of the report. I looked at it in color, and you could see the, the different deficiencies by looking at the attachments and the gotcha. pictures. Okay. So he needs to get further clarification from the uh, engineer for those uh, property owners on uh, his specific pieces of equipment. Huh. 
Uh, there's no update on the North Pond personal watercraft issue nope. at this time. Uh, we are not going to address the town collector clerk's office with only two members of the select board here. And we will sign the IAFF local 4919 contract to the best of our ability at the end of this meeting. Any other old business? New business. Uh, select board meeting schedule January <coughs> through spring. Right, because I know you, you want to look at some um, alternating Tuesdays maybe starting in January. Yeah. So I don't know if you were interested in every Tuesday or every other Tuesday because of your work schedules and your other commitments. And I'm fine with every Tuesday. The only problem is that first week of January, if we can make it the third or Wednesday, that would be better. And then we could do Tuesdays. And if there's, and if there's not enough load, we can go every other But All right, so if you're thinking about doing it. That work for you? Yep. You're thinking about doing it here? Third, yeah. Okay, and then... Basically, this would only be six days. Do you want to go to your next meeting and start here now? Right. Yep. How's that? That's fine with me. Do you want to do that? That look all right. So third. What time is the marijuana meeting? Right. Six Three, thirty. And then third. Jump to the sixteenth yeah, for your next ones, and then go forward from there. Three thirty. Because that's good. We got the MMA conference here, Doug. So. Oh, there you go. It'll be good not to have that Monday after being down there for three days. So your third, you have the marijuana meeting at six thirty. Do we have anything even scheduled yet for the third? We, uh, not the least team. I think we were going to meet at 6. <coughs> what, 6? I think six? we were going to meet at 6. You want to meet at 5? Well, that's right. He's the, he's the chairman of that. Committee. He's the chairman of that. Yeah. We can meet earlier. You want to meet at 5? Five? 5.15 on the 3rd. There you go. Okay. 5.15 on the 3rd. And then to the 16th? Then yeah. off to the 16th. 23rd, 30th. Yeah. And that, is that 10 to 7? Is that... Yeah, for right now it's 10 to 7. Yeah, right. Yeah. 6.50. 6 so we have time to, to play with that. that yeah. And if we have to move the third to the fourth, we can move the third to the fourth. But I think we'll be okay. Yeah. <coughs> we'll be fine. Depends okay. on what the agenda stacks are. Right. Yep. Okay. Uh, cool. Kill that. We have, and all of this is subject to approval of uh, Mr. Fox as well. We'll confirm oh, with him that it's okay. Of course, if he's him. feeling better. Hopefully he'll be better by then. We can check then. with him. Correct. Even if he can just use a pen and write, maybe he can just write the dates no. down. Well, I, I don't want anything. He could just maybe email it because then we don't have to touch the paper. Yeah, yeah got it. He would um, pass the smoke signal days. <laughs> Mass DOT agreement for Shirtlift Brook. That's this thing. That's now we're finally getting to this big hunk of paper. Good. <laughs> So we need to sign Authorize this. the chair to sign on behalf of the town to stand format contract for 500000 of Mass DOT, the granting agency. So moved. The town meeting's already appropriated the yes. other 300000 Correct. Half a million. Second. All in favor? <laughs> Aye. Aye. Any other new business to conclude the year? This will be the last Ooh. new business of the year. I don't think about it that way. Well, since you put it that way. Yeah, no, I'm good. Well, I know we have to, uh, we've heard from the fire chief. we got to get a little bit more of an update with him on the uh, the ladder. Yeah, I didn't read that. You don't want to know. Not good. Well, I didn't know. You well, don't no, want to know on the ladder. It's 30 years old, and it, uh, it's now experiencing significant problems. It may be terminally ill. But we'll find out. It's a big You're still planter. working on it. I called him up today, and I asked him how big was his stocking, and what can he fit in it. I was hoping we make it to MMA and get one of those other little fire trucks and hoping they were going to have a ladder this year. But we'll still make it there to get the ladder, to yeah. get the rubber truck. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. Oh, you know. Anything else? But not, that's, you know, we know about that issue. We had the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know, but it would have yeah. been nicer to, to have a year from now. As we, it's not a, yeah. It's not an off-the-shelf item. It is not an off-the-shelf item, and it's also better to not... To have a truck that as old as it is and creaky as it is like Least me, works, it yeah. still works, yeah. right? So, <clears throat> motion to close the year. Second. You're making a motion. Yeah, I second. Uh, okay. Yeah. All in favor. Yeah. Aye. 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 <laughs> okay. Don't, no, don't go anywhere. We gotta sign stuff. All right. If anybody wants any, anybody need any paperwork? Nope. Okay.
Merry Christmas, yeah, Happy yeah. New Year. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays, Kwanzaa. At least not in dogs on the same side. Kwanzaa. Happy Festivus. Wow. Mike, um, <sighs> Bobby Johnson and the Zeppelin. Are we the contractor? Yep. Oh, contractor. It says Doug Mogan right there. Yeah. Four times with him. Here. Good. Here. Good. You do the fire. We're going to get it out within the next week or so. Thank, Thank you, Randy. Do work in February and March. Thank you. Right. Whenever they work it out with the contractor. Right. Thank you, Randy. And that's the realistic so thing. We're talking. That's the thing we're talking about. Right? No, 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 don't talk about it. We've talked about it. We've talked about it, talked about it. We just, no one wanted to make that decision because it's going to suck digging that thing back up if we somehow next year get the grant, brand new road.